click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Sometimes we have information in problem of estimated working capital that it should be prepared on cash cost basis. In that case, how it is to be prepared that we'll be understanding with this question which was asked in one of the examination conducted by professional bodies. STN Limited is a ready-made garment manufacturing company. Its production cycle indicates that materials are introduced in the beginning of the production phase. Wages and overheads accrue evenly throughout the period of cycle. The following figures for the 12 months ending on 31st December 2014 are given. Production of shirts 54,000 units selling price per shirt rupees 200 duration of production cycle one month raw material inventory held two months consumption finished goods stock held for one month credit allowed to debtors 1.5 months and credit allowed by creditors one month this is information of current liability this will go as what current asset wages are paid in next month following the month of accrual this is again information of current liability in the work in progress 50 percent of wages and overheads are supposed to be conversion cost this will be part of current asset the ratio of cost of sales price are raw material 60 percent direct wages 10 percent and overheads 20 percent cash is to be held to the extent of 40 percent of current liabilities and safety margin is 15 percent will be maintained calculate working capital required by the company on cash cost basis selling price per unit is given 200 and here we have details of ratio of cost of sale price to raw materials direct wages and overheads Here selling price is given 200 rupees which will take as 100%. Now raw materials are 60% of selling price 200. So it will be 120. Wages are 10% of selling price 200. It will be rupees 20. Over it's 20% 20 of selling price 200. So it is 40 total cost 90 percent of sale price 200 180 profit is 10 percent of selling price 200 it is 20 rupees so we got cost structure clear raw material wages over its total cost profit and sales here most of the information we have on monthly basis so we'll try to find out monthly cost of business per month output is equal to output per annum divided by 12 output 
per annum 54,000 shirts. 54,000 divided by 12. 4,500 units per month. Now we have per unit cost. We'll find out per month cost by considering this 4,500 units. Per month raw material consumption 5,40,000 Per month wages required 90,000 Per month overheads 1,80,000 Total cost 8,10,000 Profit 90,000 Total sales 9 lakhs Let us calculate now current assets and current liabilities Raw material inventory held, 2 months consumption it is given. Average stock of raw material, 2 months. Raw material per month multiplied by period. Raw material per month, 5,40,000. Multiplied by period, 2 months. Ten lakh eighty thousand. This will be part of current asset. Duration of production cycle one month. This is information of work in progress. Raw materials per month five lakh forty thousand. So it is five lakh forty thousand. Wages per month ninety thousand. Wages per month ninety thousand. Multiplied by period one month. Multiplied by fifty percent. So it will be forty five thousand. Overheads per month 1,80,000. Overheads per month 1,80,000. Multiplied by period 1 month. Multiplied by 50%. Total work in progress stock 6,75,000. It will be part of current asset. Average stock of finished goods, finished goods stock held for one month. Total cost per month 8,10,000. 8,10,000 this will be part of current asset. Credit allowed to debtors is 1.5 months and we need working capital on cash cost basis. So here we are required to take debtors at cost price.
टोटल कॉस्ट पर मंथ मल्टीप्लाइड बाय पीरियड ऑफ सेल्स टोटल कॉस्ट पर मंथ वी हैव एट लैक टेन थाउजेंड क्रेडिट गिवन टू डेटर्स वन पॉइंट फाइव मंथ मल्टीप्लाइड बाय पीरियड वन पॉइंट फाइव credit allowed by creditors is 1 month we can calculate creditors for goods 1 month that is raw material per month multiplied by period raw material per month 5 lakh 40000 raw material per month 5 lakh 40000 multiplied by period 1 month this 5 lakh 40000 this will be part of current liability creditors for expenses wages are paid in next month following the month of accruals this is the information for arrears of wages time lag in payment of wages this will be part of current liability wages per month multiplied by period per month wages we have 90000 90000 per month wages multiplied by period one month so it will be 90000 this will be part of current liability so we have calculated here current assets as well as current liabilities let us prepare final solution that is statement of estimated working capital first we have to consider current assets there first we have inventories stock of raw materials stock of work in progress stock of finished goods these values already we have calculated as a part of working note average stock of raw material held for 2 months 10 lakh 80000 average stock of work in progress 6 lakh 75000 Average stock of work in progress six lakh seventy five thousand. Average stock of finished goods eight lakh ten thousand. Next we have debtors at cost price. Debtors one point five months twelve lakh fifteen thousand. It is given in the question. that cash is to be held to the extent of 40% of current liabilities so this will be calculated when we record all current liabilities next we are required to record current liabilities creditors for goods 5 lakh 40000 creditors for goods 5 lakh 40000 creditors for expenses wages 90000 we can add current liabilities total current liabilities 6 lakh 30000 cash we are required to maintain 40% of total current liabilities 6 lakh 30000 multiplied by 40% 
it will be 2,52,000. Now we can add all current assets, total current assets, that is gross working capital, 40,32,000. From this we are required to deduct total current liabilities, that is 6,30,000. Thereby we get net working capital 34,2000. It is given in the question that safety margin of 15% will be maintained. This 15% we'll have to calculate on this value of 34,2000. So estimated net working capital to be arranged for will be 39,12,300. In this question, we have learned how to calculate net working capital when information is given like projected basis. And also we are required to consider when we are required to prepare net working capital on cash cost basis, we are required to calculate debtors accordingly. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.